Hi guys, so you have a full dental school personal statement drafted and it's still, it's missing something or you're starting out and you have no idea where to start. Stay tuned, I'm going to give you a full rundown on a personal statement that did extremely well and let's break it down as to why. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie. This is Write Your Acceptance for the best med school, dental school, personal statement, coaching, advice, how to elevate your overall messaging. Stay tuned, subscribe. I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of students at this point. I know what they're looking for. And so let's get started so you can start writing your memorable personal statement as well. All right, so first we're going to, I'll read the entire essay in its entirety entire essay in its entirety so you can kind of get a sense as to beginning middle and end and then we'll break it down and we'll talk about the different sections and how they're working and why they're doing what they need to be doing right all right here we go receiving my driver's license was less a dose of freedom and more a new responsibility when i became my tío pepe's designated driver for his dental visits on our outings i would take him to my father's pediatric dental office holding his hand as my father examined him while my dad performed the procedures my uncle needed i carefully watched as he skillfully juggled instruments flawlessly around my uncle's mouth. After these visits, I'd take Theo Pepe to the movies and we'd buy a bucket of popcorn that we would wash down with a slushie. These moments have become a tradition that I look forward to every six months. When my uncle was born, he suffered from hypoxia, which led to brain damage and his subsequent intellectual disability. By being a source of support for my Theo Pepe, I witnessed firsthand how cleanings, flossing tutorials, and treasure chest rewards are an exercise in compassion, patience, and humility. As a future dentist, I aspire to do the work required to best meet my patient's needs so that oral health care is an act of love as well as wellness. Caring for Theo Pepe ignited my interest in seeking shadowing and volunteering opportunities in pockets of society that are often overlooked and sometimes neglected. I found practitioners who selflessly and with the utmost respect serve patients with special needs, the homeless population, and individuals with chronic pain. One of the most eye-opening and gratifying experiences I've had during my pre-dental journey has been serving unhoused individuals at the Kearney Center's dental clinic. Beyond helping patients with the required paperwork and checking their vitals, I was the face that first greeted each one, many of whom had neglected their dental health care for years and were extremely apprehensive. The reasons for neglect range from financial hardships to various mental health illnesses. However, my few minutes with each patient would directly impact how they framed their experience with us and future visits. The first patient I brought in was a middle-aged woman who was getting multiple teeth extracted. The patient confided in me that she was extremely nervous and scared. Even though I was nervous as well, I knew that she needed at that moment was comfort, care, and that I preserve her integrity despite personal hardships that had led her to this moment. I reassured her that she wouldn't feel any pain. That day, I didn't only learn that I could handle big procedures, but I also felt great fulfillment in helping a patient feel like they belong within our care. The six months I spent there, I witnessed a vast array of procedures, but most importantly, saw the impact dentistry had on this marginalized community. I observed the challenges and gratification of embracing dental cases some would shy away from when shadowing Dr. Alvaro Ordonez, who is an expert in, I can't say that, temporomandibular yep, joint disorders, dental occlusion, and oral facial pain. For years, I have suffered from TMD, personally knowing how debilitating this condition can be if not properly treated. Beyond his impressive knowledge of head and neck anatomy, combined with the latest technology, like the T-scan in his office, I really appreciated the amount of time he allocates to each patient individually, never rushing through the appointment. I learned that patients who are in a lot of pain for issues like these are often turned away because of the complexity and patience it takes to treat these conditions. While I did witness Dr. Ordonez quickly relieve numerous patients, there were several that would require more time and attention. As a future dentist, I aspire to embody this principle of care and patience. Dentistry has always been a part of my life, especially since my father is my biggest role model. I remember when asked to describe himself, he would say, I am a pediatric dentist, husband, father, son, and brother. When I would question the order of his reply, he would say that his greatest responsibility to give in to any doctor was the privilege of taking care of another's child. His explanation always resonated with me and finally made sense why most nights at the dinner table, the conversation was about the permanent tooth a child fractured while roller skating, the sedation of the two-year-old child with eight cavities, or the autistic boy that finally gave him a hug. I now get excited to share with him my own dental experiences, and I passionately look forward to making a similar impact chair side. I really enjoyed working with the student on this personal statement. It has a very personal beginning. 
It kind of rounds back in to family and personal values. It's vulnerable, it's sweet, it's thoughtful, it's in intellectually engaging, and it really shows the student in kind of multiple dimensions, which I love. So let's start workshopping it. The intro that I just read, right, about the driver's license, I really liked this kind of symbol of freedom, right, and kind of a milestone, a rite of passage for teenagers, but that it came with this kind of dose of reality and responsibility versus just I do what I want, right? It was a very nice kind of anchor image for the introduction. We have the driver's license, we have the popcorn in the movies, and then in between we have Theo Pepe and her relationship with her uncle and taking him to his dental visits. So it shows who the student is in a very personable and kind of familial way and still couched within the dental journey, right? Which is at the end of the day, you don't want to forget that this personal statement has a job to do, right? And it does that right away. It states her personal values within dentistry and it really starts the journey as to why dentistry in a very heartfelt way. It's a great first line in the sense that it's not a full on story. With 4,500 characters, you don't have the space and luxury to give everything kind of a beginning, middle and end, right? You drop anecdotes that are image driven at times so that you, you know, brevity is key, but you give the most important content first. So receiving my driver's license was less a dose of freedom and more a new responsibility when I became my Theo Pepe's designated driver for his dental visits, right? It goes into the dentistry right away. It goes into the imagery. And in one line, we are kind of thrust in the middle of things in her kind of relationship environment, right? I really like paragraphs two and three because it kind of gives us a little bit of state of play. We learn a little bit more about her uncle's diagnosis, her uncle's needs as a dental patient, her relationship with him. We also learn how kind of she moves from this one relationship to widen the horizon of patients that she kind of serves and learns to adapt to and work with and serve best, right, on their needs. And that was like a, a beautiful kind of zoom out moment in the personal statement. There are a couple of sentences that I really think are worthwhile kind of highlighting that were kind of really in tune with how to kind of capture student values. For example, by being a source of support for my Tio Pepe, I witnessed firsthand how cleanings, flossing tutorials, and treasure chest rewards are an exercise in compassion, patience, and humility. As a future dentist, I aspire to do the work required to best meet my patients' needs so that oral health care is an act of love as well as wellness. I love the parallel construction of the cleanings, tutorials, and treasure chest with compassion, patience, and humility. I thought that was really nicely put, nicely constructed. And then kind of the anchoring thesis for this personal statement as a future dentist, I aspire to do. And then they kind of go into basically this kind of compassionate advocate, right? That the essay kind of continues with actively sought out patient experiences. And then I thought the final line was really memorable. And I found practitioners who selflessly and with the utmost respect serve patients with special needs, the homeless population, and individuals with chronic pain. This one line encapsulates nicely the student's values, their specific brand of dentistry, right? And how kind of they want to serve and be called forth in this field. The middle part of the personal statement really goes into how she actively sought out experiences, right? And the topic sentence does a really nice job of transitioning into these more recent experiences. One of the most eye-opening and gratifying experiences I've had during my pre-dental journey has been serving unhoused individuals in the CUNY Center's dental clinic. I'm gonna read this paragraph again because I really wanna highlight a couple of these macro moments that the essay has. After the topic sentence, it says, Beyond helping patients with the required paperwork and checking their vitals, so that's what she did, I was the face that first greeted each one, many of whom neglected their dental health care for years and were extremely apprehensive. So this is information she's learned and she's telling you without saying a lot of patients explain this to me or I asked or whatever, she's just giving you the information. The reasons for neglect ranged from financial hardships to various mental health illnesses. There is a sense of dialed inness, right? Like this student is dialed into the needs of this dental community in a way that lacks judgment. And we kind of get a sense of the range of patient cases and the range of lived experiences that this student is interacting with every day and connecting with every day. So it's, it's a great couple lines that really kind of zoom out before we zoom into a patient experience. The patient experience of the kind of patient who is scared, it's a small experience. It's not 
even something that you would probably put on a CV, right? It's not bullet point worthy for a CV, but these are the types of experiences, these kinds of moments where you meet the patient where they need, what they need from you and you meet them there. That's what you can kind of really capture in a personal statement that is image driven, but that is also kind of emoting and that you kind of are connecting with them on a personal humanistic level and really kind of giving you a solid why takeaway for your white dentistry. And so then this story, while small, in the sense of like, you know, they're not kind of saving the world or anything huge, but it's heartfelt and it feels very in line with the personal statement and the student's values as a whole. Are you starting to write and aren't sure how your personal statement is going? Comment below, I'd love to start chatting with you. So the last two paragraphs settle into a different kind of register for the personal statement and the student's experiences, the TMD, um, so personal experiences, and also the shadowing experience that the student does with Dr. Ordonez and kind of how the student learns about kind of excellent practicing, right? Excellent practices. And so after this experience, um, the student really focuses on their kind of conclusion as a personal coming home type of thing. Initially, the my dad, who is a pediatric dentist, is my role model, was the introduction. So you can read this conclusion and reread it again, really see how it, it was at the first initial drafts, the introduction, but I felt like it really wrapped up at the heart of who she was or who she is. And so I thought that kind of starting with the Opepe story and starting with her in action would be more kind of unique to her and personalized to her. But this felt very kind of familial and personal as well, but a more kind of static experience, right? Because it is a formative father-daughter relationship from birth to now but it doesn't feel as active or what the content that we have right now, it doesn't feel like we have as much kind of active image driven content that it felt very kind of emotional and that she wanted to sit in the kind of appreciation and emotional, you know, register that she feels for her father and all that he has done for his career in his career and all she's learned from him already. So it felt very reflective. It felt very kind of taking stock of where she is to where she wants to go. And so that's why we kind of swapped it to the conclusion. And I feel like it sits nicely in that personal statement kind of location. Dentistry has always been a part of my life, especially since my father is my biggest role model. I remember when he asked to describe himself, he would say, I'm a pediatric dentist, husband, father, son, and brother. When I would question the order of his reply, he would say that the greatest responsibility given to any doctor was a privilege of taking care of another's child. His explanation always resonated with me and finally made sense why most nights at the dinner table, the conversation was about the permanent tooth a child fractured while roller skating, the sedation of a two-year-old child with eight cavities, or the autistic boy that finally gave him a hug. I now get excited to share with him my own dental experiences and I passionately look forward to making a similar impact share sign. So it's really a lovely, kind of reminiscent, nostalgic, celebratory, appreciative experience or kind of like love letter for the, her relationship with her dad. And so I thought that we, you know, thought together when kind of drafting out the personal statement that it really sat nicely in the concluding section. I hope you found this productive, helpful. If you want to learn how I work with students to elevate your language, to really kind of structure your personal statement, your activity section, to really elevate your entire application and messaging, grab your spot on my calendar. We can talk about how I work with students, if we're a good fit and all that good stuff. It's in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.